Hi guys, I'm Julien I'm a cadet here in the BA Training Aviation Academy and I'm here today with my colleague Hugo to show you a startup of a colon dark startup of the Boeing 737-800 on the brand new full flight simulator received by BA during the last month. So we're currently at Gatwick on the stand 2.0 and uh, here we go. Let's start up the aircraft. So first of all, we should proceed with an electrical startup. So in order to start the aircraft, the first thing to do is to turn on the battery. Then we have several items to check. We need to be sure that the standby power is still guarded. We need to make sure that the alternate flaps are off. Then we need the wipers are off that the hydraulic electric pumps are off and that the landing gear is down. As we can see right now, a good indication for that is to check that the landing gear indicators shows three green lights. On the upper overhead panel, we can as well see that we have three landing gear green lights. Now, in the real life, we should perform an exterior inspection. The pilot performing this inspection will check several items on the fuselage or on the brake systems. The, the other pilots remaining in the cockpit will check several documentation items in order to make sure that the plane is airworthy for the flight today. Now, for the purpose of the video, we don't need to show you these items because we are on the simulator. So, let's consider that the exterior inspection is done. Let's align the irises. Okay, meanwhile we are aligning as it can take up to 30 minutes depending on the outside temperature and the temperature of the aircraft itself. We're supposed to config the route. So in order to config the route, we need some lights. And turn on the brightness of the FMC. Okay, for the purpose of the video today, we will just pretend that all the route is entered and the aircraft is almost ready to taxi. Let's continue our uh, pre-flight inspection checklist. So now that the route is entered, we need to try to relay the battery from all the efforts that she is providing for, for the systems of the aircraft. A good way to, for that is to turn on the APU, which is a third engine located at the rear of the fuselage. To start the APU, we need some fuel. So at this stage, let's turn one uh, fuel pump on. Okay, and let's now start the APU. So now it takes some time for the APU to start and stabilize. So now the APU is running. As we can see, it's a good indication to know that because we have a small gauge here indicating the AGT of the APU. So let's connect the bus bar of the APU to the aircraft systems. Yeah, and the second one. Okay. Let's continue with our flows from the upper left to the lower right. Turn on the yaw damper, please. Okay, let's continue the expansion following the up to down procedure. Everything is at the place that it should be. Okay, so the emergency exit lights are supposed to be armed for the entire duration of the flight. So in order for the pilots not to focus to, or to think to turn them on in order, in case of an emergency, it will automatic, automatically switch on. Our fasten seatbelt, our fasten seatbelt size is already on. Now let's continue and turn on the window aids. Okay, at that time we don't need to set the probe eating system. The probes, just for a quick reference, the probes are some probes located on the nose of the aircraft to deliver some critical parameters such as altitude and speed which will be indicated 
on the uh, PFD, the primary uh, flight display of the pilots. So at this time, we can still continue with our flows. Let's indicate to the other uh, personnel around the aircraft that some pilots are starting up this aircraft by turning the position light on. So as we just finished the electrical startup of the aircraft, the next step is to ask for our clearance from the ATC position. So Gatwick delivery frequency is already set up in our radio communication panel, so Hugo will ask for the clearance. Gatwick delivery BA 737, good day, sir. BA 737, Gatwick delivery, good day, go ahead. BA 737, information Charlie is on board at gate Astain 20, request VFR clearance for flight training. BA 737, state your type of aircraft. Boeing 738, BA 737. Copy it. BA 738, you are cleared for training flight. Expect Lambon 5 mile departure, no slot required. Information Charlie is valid, QNH 1000. Squawk 2334. Read back. Squawk 2334, QNH 1000. Runway use 26 left, information Charlie is on board. Cleared VFR clearance, BA737. Read back, correct. So, we just received our ATC clearance. We are done for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to BA YouTube channel. See you guys.